Mr. Eric Mitchell here, director for the next film, Underground USA, uh, here to say a few words about the film. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Eric Mitchell. Well, thank you for coming. Um, so few, who, or so many, it's only a matter of perspective in relation to, to the room. And um, those who are from downtown, I brought. I hope you brought a handkerchief because there used to be an old saying that uh, you would get a nosebleed if you went above 14th Street. Um, I'm not going to be here at the end of the movie, so I'm going to keep my email. So if people want to uh, ask me questions, they can do it by email. It'll be much simpler. And also because I might be having too many drinks outside, and um, or I might be sleeping on the subway, or I might have smoked a pack of cigarettes and forgot to blow out the smoke. That's a John Lewis joke, by the way. So my email is Eric B. Mitchell at yahoo.com. You should write it down because I'm not going to repeat that again. Eric B. <laughs> Mitchell at yahoo.com. Okay, now comes the eulogy or little intro that I wrote with regards to making the film. I wrote everything down since I'm such a lousy actor and never like to improvise. Anyway, I wanted to thank the modern for showing this beautiful print which they purchased years ago but have never shown. I wonder why. But what I wanted to say really is that I only have a simple and plus, I only have simple and pleasant memories of making of the film. It's funny how making a movie without any money can be so much fun. I don't even remember serving a single meal or having a single argument, as it is often the case. I guess everyone was young, carefree, happy, and ambitious. What I remember is that, as you will see, my efforts were focused on making the best looking film I could. Art direction was very important and restraining the actors. I want to thank Tom DiCillo for doing such a beautiful camera and lighting work with only five lights. Also, I want to dedicate the film to Jack Curtis, who is in here seen in his last role as James Dean, just like in the song, Walk on the Wild Side. And to Duncan Smith, a writer who plays a shrink and who always elevated the debate by his knowledge of philosophy and semiotics. Lastly, I would also like to pay homage to Cookie Mueller, a great writer and comedian, who was a sister and a confidant to us all, who was the most generous, full of optimism person I have ever met. And to quote Yogi Berra, that great wordsmith, it's like it's 1980 all over again.